Hey guys, thought I'd just give you a little quick video on the new 2500 HD that I added recently. Uh, it's an 06 LT1, has right around 11,000 miles on it, original miles. Um, truck's in pristine condition. Um, the other day I just added, I don't know if you can see here, some Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax to it. Just the stock size, the 245, 75, 16s. On top up there, we're running the light bar that used to be on the half-ton truck. It's the 23-inch Condor Amber and White Linear Optic. Um, it's real bright at night. Highly recommend the light. Back over here, you'll see some new reverse lights that we put on. Uh, my dad and I fabricated that mount for them, so they just slip on easy, come off easy as well. Um, to the trailer receiver. I'll show you the interior real quick. So yeah, it's just an LT1. Um, I added some floor liners down here. They're made by Max Liner. Uh, so far I've been really impressed with them. They're a little less expensive compared to like the WeatherTex and the Huskies, but seem to be holding up very well. So I've been impressed with them. Highly recommend them. And here's just a other side of the truck view. Um, a lot of guys ask, you know, what to do for these trucks um, to manage the weight of snow plows. Um, I added some timberins on the front. Um, it's running a Fisher XLS plow, um, roughly a thousand pounds. Um, so I put the, that in the front, the timberins, and then about a thousand pounds in the back. Um, and the truck barely squats at all when you lift the plow, just a tiny bit, maybe an inch or so. And over here is the XLS and the HT uh, snow plows. XLS I just added this fall. Um, goes out to 10 feet if you don't know much about it. Um, has the new headlights on it. So far I've been very impressed with them. Not too crazy about the style of them, how they look. But overall um, it's a wider beam and a much brighter beam for the high beams. Um, used it a couple times so far. Uh, last week we had a couple three, four inch snow events. Um, nothing major, just pretty easy to use. Um, Love the plow. Took about 10 minutes to get used to the controls. Um, anyone that played video games growing up would definitely be able to catch on in no time with it. So yeah guys, that's the, the truck that I just added. A little quick walk around for it. Um, plan on putting a back rack on it pretty soon. Um, as well as tow mirrors and maybe some other few odds and ends just to make it a little bit more of my own. Uh, but overall, I'm um, very impressed with the truck. Uh, one downside to it um, that I realized is that it does not have the G80 rear end locking differential. Um, it's kind of been a bummer so far uh, with plowing. It's not a huge deal, but you can definitely get stuck uh, if you're not careful. So I do plan on having the rear end rebuilt either this winter or sometime next summer to accommodate a locking differential for it. Um, just think it would be an overall good investment for the truck um, for the future. You know, help me um, in case I ever get into a jam. and lock the rear end up automatically and spin both wheels together so that I can get out of a mess a little bit easier. Alright guys, this video has gone long enough. thought I'd just give you a quick walk around. Uh, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button, and hit the like. Thanks for watching.